hello friends hope you are doing well so today's video topic is how to upgrade from windows 7 to windows 10 and in this process all the data in your system will remain safe so as you can see i have some files on my desktop and i also have another partition i will show you so this is my second partition and there are some files in it so in this process all the data on your desktop or on your other partition will remain safe there will be no data loss in this process and I will show you my softwares so as you can see I have few softwares in my Windows 7 operating system so in this process all the softwares will remain safe as well so in this process there will be no data loss there will be no software loss in this process now i will tell you some important thing you have to check before doing this process so the first important thing is make sure your windows 7 is activated so as you can see in my windows 7 properties i am using windows 7 pro and my windows is currently activated so make sure your windows 7 is activated otherwise you will get a product key error so make sure your windows is activated and the second important thing is make sure you have at least 15 GB of free space in your C drive right now I have 93 GB free space so it is very much enough but make sure you have at least 15 GB of free space in your C drive so these are the two important thing you have to check before doing this process now let's start the process so first open your browser and type windows 10 now click on this microsoft url download windows 10 disk image microsoft click on the microsoft url now you will get this option create windows 10 installation media click on this option download tool now and you can see media creation tool downloaded has been done now open the download folder so this is the tool media creation tool which helps you to upgrade from windows 7 to windows 10 now right click on the media creation tool then click on properties and unblock this tool click on unblock then click on apply then click on ok now again right click on it then click on run as administrator So now you can see the process has been started so you have to wait for 5 to 10 seconds now click on accept now you will get these two options upgrade this pc now or create installation media so select the first option upgrade this pc now then click on next and you can see the downloading windows 10 process has been started and it will take around half an hour it depends on your internet speed and it will consume around 5 GB of internet so I will fast forward this video so after waiting for 15 to 30 minutes you will get this window click on accept ready to install install Windows 10 Pro keep personal files and app so this option is important make sure this option is selected otherwise you can change it from clicking here change what to keep and there are three options keep personal files and app so if you select the first option all the data in your system and application will remain safe if you choose the second option only your personal data will remain safe the software will be removed and if you choose the third option in that case everything will be deleted so go for the first one keep personal files on app then click on next recheck everything then click on install and now you can see installing windows 10 process has been started and it will take around 15 to 20 minutes to complete so i will fast forward this video so the upgrading process is completed and the data on my desktop are remains safe so there is no data loss i will show you the other partition as well so this is my second partition 
and you can see all the files and folders are present so there is no data loss in this process I will show you the softwares so as you can see all the softwares are present so all the softwares are also remain safe so in this process there is no data loss there is no software loss I will show you my system properties as well so this is my Windows edition Windows 10 Pro and my Windows 10 is activated so this is how you can upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 without losing any data without losing any software so this is all for the video thank you